People are always uh, dealing with physical issues that they have a hard time healing. From my point of view, the question isn't how do I heal this? The question is, why is there the illusion here of something that needs healing? In other words, I look at healing as natural and as the truth. It doesn't require effort. And I look at disease as an aberration, as essentially illusions. So why then would I have to take steps to heal an illusion? What I do is I remember the perfection beneath the illusion, then I allow God to heal it for me. And it's just natural. It happens naturally at this point because I've set my mind and body up that way when it comes to physical things, and I rarely, rarely get ill in any way. I thought of an experiment that was done by a French scientist, I believe it was in the 30s. It has to do with vision. When light enters our eye, let's say, you know, the letter R, right, enters our eye, our eye inverts it so that it lands on the back of the retina um, as an inverted R. The reason we see it as standing upright is because our brain corrects that inversion. You with me so far? Okay, now what this scientist did is he had everybody put on glasses that inverted the R before it hit the I. Now the eye inverted the already inverted R and made it upright on the back of the retina. And the brain, having gotten used to correcting it, corrected that R such that people wearing these glasses saw an upside down world. Had people wear these glasses for like three days, I think. And after three days, what happened is that brain corrected things again, so that now when they were wearing these glasses, they saw a right side up world. So these glasses, which made the world look upside down after a few days, the brain corrected it so that the world looked right again when they were wearing them. The problem now was when they took the glasses off, the world looked upside down again. <laughs> I hope you're following me. Now, it turns out that we just can't even see with our naked eyes anymore. We need these glasses to navigate. Imagine that we were all born with those glasses on. Once we were old enough to think and talk and whatever, they gave us a pair of these glasses and we got used to seeing the world through them. And if were we to take them off, right, the world would look upside down, so most of us never do. And those glasses would be the social programming that makes us think, for example, that we have to go to a doctor to get healed, that diseases are dangerous, that death is inevitable, authority knows best, better than we do what's right for our lives, that money, if we don't have that, we're gonna die, and that we have to get money from other people, that we can't just get it from the universe. We have all these beliefs, which from my point of view are backwards. But you see, all I did that is any different and that anybody can do is I took the glasses they handed me off they made me dizzy. And I went through the process of bumping into things in what seemed to be an upside down world until my eyes corrected the correction. And that's all we really have to do. We have been living with spectacles on that have caused us to see the world in a backwards way. And we don't even know it. And so through these lenses handed to us growing up, we've come to believe that we are dependent on the external world to survive. And because of that dependency, most of us don't take it seriously that we might be able to think big and live a daring life beyond the bounds of what the world considers possible, much less cultivate the ability to self-heal and live free of fear of disease or make choices to create realities out of nothing when that's what would be happy for us. Right? We, it doesn't even occur to us because we've got those glasses on. Now, to take those glasses off requires courage because there is a little fumbling and bumping into things as we learn to be natural, to see with our natural eyes in a world full of people who still see things backwards. But what skill worth learning doesn't have some, you know, Challenges, like the piano, right? You can't play Rachmaninoff right away. <laughs> and also, think about it this way. That's all we have to do. Nothing else. If we just take the damn glasses off, then we will fumble our way to finally correct our vision, to finally remember 
who we are, who we were born to be. We weren't born with the glasses. The babies are radiantly happy. Have you noticed that? It's these glasses that make us miserable and sick. It's the glasses. <laughs> and those glasses are the programming, the beliefs that we hold in our mind about what's possible and what isn't. So taking those glasses off is the secret to being a master magician. Take the glasses off, you realize that you have all this power that they never told you about and that they can't tell you about because as of now, most people are still holding on to those glasses for dear life. As things get intense, people tend to cling to their beliefs, to cling, cling to their point of view. We're living into a future where whether we choose to do this consciously or not, we're all about to get a vision correction. Right? And my goal with these videos is just to, first of all, share myself and my story, to give you guys permission to do the same if you find it inspiring, also to help us pave the way to that future as gently as possible. It's gonna come either way, but I want it to be as gently as possible. I don't want you dependent on anything. I want you to take the glasses off and see that your natural navigation will get you where you wanna go with minimum loss of energy or happiness. The way to get there the quickest, follow your calling. Your calling is your unique path to get there while having fun and thriving on every level. And I tell you what, when you follow your calling, you've got God's protection. You've got the highest force in the land backing you. And I can attest in quite, quite, impressive detail at this point to the practical value of letting God lead you in a world beyond belief.